What's going on YouTube? Tony here back again with a video on the LG Velvets and the LG Dual Screen. So I've been using this phone for about two days now and give you guys impressions video like 24 hours later of the case and the phone in general. So uh, starting off with the case is the first thing we see here. I do like that it does have this little indicator there which shows you the time, the day, the, and the date and also you get a couple of notifications along with the battery life. So we're going to touch on battery life here in a second on the top we got a little slit right there you guys can see and that is because the earpiece doubles as a speaker so we got a top speaker and then we got a speaker on the bottom and since we're down here we also have a headphone jack we have a little port here it's just a magnetic port that is on the case and just underneath that on the phone is usb type c but the magnetic port right here is pretty cool um that connects to a USB-C cable and, and you can just plug it in and just unplug it. I like that. It's real cool. And then we have a microphone there and we have speaker grill there. And um, right here, you guys can see the hinges. That's the mechanism that allows you to fold this all the way around. Check it out. So the hinges are pretty unique. I like that. The case in general is plastic, but the hinges are, I'm not sure what material the hinges are, but I know that they seem very, very sturdy. So on this side here, we do have a button that is designated for the Google Assistant. And we have volume up and down button. And on the top, we have a little pinhole for another microphone. And on the back, we have a 48 megapixel camera, an 8 megapixel uh, macro lens, and a 5 megapixel depth, uh, depth sensor, along with LED flash. And yes, you guys saw it. I have a little ding right there. The case is not very it's not a very durable case um so it slid in between my car seats and that's how that happened so yeah um let's go ahead and open this up and i'll give you guys a quick tour of the dual screens and the functionalities of it so uh the fingerprint uh sensor is underneath the display and it's very fast i think it's maybe even faster than, than some of the samsung devices and you can see here if i swipe up i have the app drawer on both sides you can go through them so yeah things you can do on here like i got i can watch fox news on one side i can do my instagram on the other this is real cool for me because i normally carry two phones everywhere i go and this is real cool so i like that and i can also do i can go to the app drawer and i can do uh what is it twitter on one side facebook on the other so yeah this is this is pretty cool man it's pretty cool stuff right here that's one of the dual screen features that I do like. Also, when you go into gaming mode, you can also use one of the displays as a gamepad. And not only that, but we got this little thing that floats around here. You can move it anywhere you want. If you tap on that, you got some features here. You got swap screen, show main on dual, show dual screen on main. You can put main screen to sleep. You can turn off the dual screen. Or if you go into the display, you got to go into the display settings and in here there's a section that is dual screen and yeah here's a dual screen you can pick an app so you can pick an app to open up every time you open up the dual screen so for instance we'll do this is just for we'll do fox news so now when i turn off the display and turn on the display and unlock it fox news there it is always appears and then you can just go into it or you can just swipe it away. So that'll always pop up, even if I close the phone. Open the phone, unlock it. Fox News is always going to pop up. So that's pretty cool. I got that disabled because I, I don't know exactly which one I want to put there just yet. So I got none. And then you can see uh, multi-app shortcut. You can do that too. Uh, let me see what else. It's pretty new to me. And then we got wide view. If you tap in wide view, what wide view is, is that you get one app across both screens. So it looks pretty cool. So there's there's only a few. Uh, maybe there'll be more later on, but you can see I got Chrome, Gmail, Google, Maps, uh, Photos, YouTube, and YouTube Music. And I'll, de I'll demo that real quick. You go into YouTube Music and you tap on the little indicator again and you go into wide view. Now you got, a, it's across both screens. So that is dope as heck. I really like that. 
especially in, in this uh, YouTube music one because it's not like videos. It's more of uh, which albums you want to jump into and stuff like that. So I like it here and I'll show you in a different one. If I go to Chrome and I'll show you, you tap on that little icon again and go into wide view. And then here you are again, you got Chrome across both screens, which I think is super dope. I like that. I like that look. I wish it would work for like Instagram and stuff like that. So it's probably going to come later on. But for right now, I'm digging that. And YouTube, you can you can do YouTube too. I'm not really a fan of this one because you can see you got the interruption there right in the middle. It's actually playing. Oh, here it is. I'll play it. You can see Jay Wills in the background. You could even blow it up. So it's pretty cool. Check it out like that. Shout out to Jay Wills once again. And then you can flip it this way. And it'll also flip the screen that way. So pretty cool stuff here, man. I really like it. But yeah, that's that. So in the video, and we see the YouTube. I, I'm not a huge fan with the YouTube one, like I said, because it kind of cuts everything off in the middle. But it's doable. I, I prefer it like in a, like in a browsing, like a social media app maybe, or Chrome, or maybe the YouTube music, stuff like that. But not while watching videos. I kind of, I don't prefer it there. But you guys get the idea. And also in Maps, Maps is pretty cool. Let me see. Let's go into that little icon again. And go into the, and then you can see in the icon on the maps. So maps is pretty dope, also, man. So yeah, you can actually have a car mount, and you may be able to fit this on the car mount. I'm not too sure. You can probably clip. Well, on my magnetic car mount, it should work because I can stick it on the magnet and I can just open up the screen and use GPS like this. This is dope. This is real dope right here. So yeah, that's that. So it has a pretty cool, interesting feature, man. I, I like the dual screen display. Um, by the way, it is running. I almost forgot to do the specs. I don't think they really matter, but uh, yeah, Snapdragon 765G, 8 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, dual speakers, IP dust, IP68 dust and water resistance, wireless charging, headphone jack. Uh, really good it, it's got really good cameras on it uh, this is 6.8 P OLED display I'm not too sure what this one is it could be the same uh, it may be the same I'm not for sure but yeah I know this one here is 6.8 P OLED so uh, 4300 milliamp battery and before we end the video let me jump in to the battery life real quick and show you guys what I've been getting with the dual screens so so it's, it's pretty dope real good battery life so 49 percent right now and if i go into screen usage i got three hours and nine minutes half the battery life so i took it off the charger about 12 hours ago and 26 minutes and it's right now it's 9:03 p.m and you can see there the chart all the apps i use and stuff like that um, i have used i'm using it on at&t 5g e which is really not 5g but that's another topic so so far the phone is great let me go ahead and take this phone out of the case nice and shiny check it out check out the back this thing glimmers it's got a lg uh, branding on the bottom and then obviously at&t has to put their tramp stamp on it to ruin it but it's a beautiful phone the construction wise i would say the hardware is beautiful the hardware is definitely beautiful. It's uh, aluminum. It feels like aluminum, like an aluminum frame. Nowadays, they're making it so difficult to tell between plastic and aluminum. But to me, it feels like uh, aluminum, and the back feels like like glass. So I would say it's glass on the back, glass on the front, and then just a sandwich design with aluminum. Yeah, this thing is beautiful, man. Definitely, I still got stickers. I haven't taken it off yet, but the the in screen fingerprint sensor i like that little you can i don't know if you can change that but that is nice so definitely to me it definitely unlocks faster than the samsung ones uh, this is a beautiful phone man definitely the sim tray right here houses a sd card you can also add more storage man this this phone basically has it all the cameras are real good uh let me show you a photo that i took maybe i have one in here the other day and this is portrait mode. I think it looks excellent. So this is a front facing camera. The cameras are definitely legit. Also records in 4K. I'm not too sure if there's a timer. So yeah, 4K. 
720p uh, HD and an FHD HD and then, yeah so there's only a uh, 4k 30 on here well let's see if there's a timer doesn't look like there's a timer normally you would see it right next to it so the 4k could be endless on here until you run out of storage so I would have to test that out but, but so yeah stay tuned for that it also has uh, audio direction I, I think you can direction the audio haven't tinkered with that yet but like I said I just had the phone for about two days and uh, I'm really impressed with the dual screens on it. Also, the build quality. I, I definitely give it an A+. The screen is gorgeous. And uh, stay tuned for some more videos on the LG Velvet.